Yo, what's up guys, got some GC to SSL coaching tips for you today. Hope you enjoy. If you're interested in coaching yourself, check out my Ko-Fi down below and also join our community Discord. Enjoy the video. But before that, sponsor time. AOEA allows you to buy and sell Rocket League items at great prices. Whichever platform you're on, you can find that last item to finish off your preset. Use code VMN at checkout for a discount. And I'll leave the link to AOEA down in the description, so be sure to check that out. I know you guys are quite like first, second man, right? Like Hikari sits at the back more and bro, you're more... Like aggressive, kind of yeah, get up in their face, kind of blue style. That's how I tend to play, yeah. Yeah. That's good. Fifty. Got a lot of space here. A nice single jump. Just uh, mechanically, we want to make sure we get underneath the ball here. Yeah, I was too far on the left side of it. I feel like. Yeah, yeah. Just, just an early jump. Like, there's no uh, no incoming threat, so we've got a little bit more time to close distance. Like, right here. There's yeah, like I don't need to jump us. so instantly on the second jump. Yeah, I it's think. good though. Like, the, the single jump is good. Just gotta make sure we're watching our opponent, you know, and making sure we can, like, play off their reaction. Uh, just yeah. make sure we're getting the best attack we can. We're almost peaked on that shot. Yeah. I don't remember if I called I was doing this or not. Yeah, I, I like the I like the ceiling play here to take possession away. I think uh, just yeah, a little bit of communication maybe. And I think mm -hmm. since you see him going up a carry, you could play a little bit more passive and play kind of more goal lane defense here. Yeah, you see him go up on the roof back here. A bit. Don't, I don't really have to turn on that. I keep going back slightly. Yeah, and we can just kind of wait for this. Like, see, even if you're mm. solo here, let's just play your. Let's say you're playing with a random, right? You're not even playing with bro. Yeah. Let's say this guy's here. If we jump early for this, uh, it's very easy for this guy to get past us because he has a lot of. He's already close to the ball, right? So he's probably going to get a couple more touches on it before, like, you reach it. So it's going to take some, like, really good prediction by you and maybe a bit of a screw up by him mechanically as well. So just kind of, like, waiting until it's a bit more. Readable is always going to be better in this situation. Kind of like turning towards goal. It's going to narrow the area that he's shooting in as well. You're able to tell where he's shooting. So just kind of like less jumping up into midfield. Yeah, that's a nice team play. You guys are double committing a little bit already. And so this is probably Hikari's ball. Mm. Take it to the other side. Yeah, I think you may lose possession here. Now you actually beat him. That's good. Yeah, I think I might have ball chased a little bit looking at this. Ah, that's okay. I mean, you beat him, but I think it just. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see that when we watch from your perspective. <laughs> but, yeah, it was a nice play. I'll we'll touch just even now, yeah. Oh, I was muted. Um, was Can you go back a little bit? Uh-huh. Uh, back to when Bra hits it in this corner. Was I a little bit too close here? Maybe a little bit. It kind of depends though, you know? Like, I don't mm -hmm. think it's bad for you to be close here either. I think maybe you're expecting a touch more like... Yeah, I was expecting a touch a little bit more mid, but I get the bang mid. on it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't think it's... I'm, not, I'm never worried if you're like screwing up an attack, you know? Like, don't worry too yeah. much if you try an attack and it doesn't work. As long as you can recover from it, it's not really a big mm -hmm. deal, you know? Yeah. So, don't worry too much if you... Don't get a goal. Yeah, you managed to recover quickly, and that's what matters, so... Okay, so here, I'm probably going to do one of two things. I'm going to think of, like, a... So you've got no boost, right? And you, you've, you're clearly, like, going for this ball, and you're trying to make something happen. So, you see Brug was across pitch here with the flip. 
Yeah. So there's there's no play you can make here on the ball that's going to be good for you. Because Brun needs time to recover, he needs time to rotate, he needs boost. And, uh, you know, if you commit on this ball, obviously you're 1v2, so you're probably just going to give away possession if you commit. So if you want to go for this, there's two options. And it's either you go steal their corner boost, or you look for a demo and then steal their corner boost. But if you kind of play for, like, the ball here, and, and curve in, like, on the side here, like this, and just kind of play for some kind of, like, sh you know, aggressive shadowing on these guys, Mm. I don't think it's going to end in really anything positive because they're just going to take it down here, they're going to get boost and they're going to start attacking and you're going to have to go back kind of on the back foot. So it's just kind of like doing something decisive when you don't have a play on the ball. Like choose something else to do instead of... It's almost like you're kind of doing nothing, right? And just shadowing. Yeah. So yeah, like see we, get, we don't get the ball because obviously there's nothing to make on the ball there. We don't get a demo. They get the boost. And we're literally going back on the back foot again, you see? We're going back for the yeah. boost, we missed that boost. It's very awkward. Okay. I think as soon as this happens, like as soon as Bra misses the, the touch here, like this, the attack is done. Like it's completely over. Yeah. There's no way we're making anything out of this. This guy's got full possession of the ball now. He's super close to it, he's got a good cut in angle, you know, to take it to take a goal line, like towards your goal. You know, he can take it like this. It's uh, very easy for him. Mm. Like at this point you're probably thinking, okay, the tag's done. Now I got a 2v1 in defense and you know buy a bit of time. And just shadow basically. Just very very dangerous coming that's all. <coughs> possession by a distance, right? Yeah, possession via distance, exactly, yeah. Like just as soon as the attack's done, bang, this guy's got position. There's no way you can challenge us without him being able to react in time. So it's all over. But if I try sh if I try instantly shadowing that, is isn't that guy just gonna go for a bump on me? No trust in that. Well he's quite far back and he's also one boost. So let's go back uh, another five seconds and keep an eye I mean on boost. I, I I don't think I should have gone there. But yeah. I feel like uh, if I just instantly turn to shadow, I feel like trash in right here. Is going to go in front of the Owen and just go for the bump while Owen's just kind of driving in. Yeah, he will do that. Like, you know, the higher rank jar, this guy's just going to, he's going to push up and try and demo you and create a good 2v1 yeah. situation, right? But it's mm -hmm. kind of like, it doesn't matter because this, this play just isn't, it's like 0%. Yeah. You know? Like, it, it never, so where should, never where works, should I you know? position myself there instead? So say. this is good when I mean, you drive up and you want to drive up to him and then you want to turn. It's, okay. it's just like a, a basic shadowing turn here and like mm -hmm. he's, he even gives the ball away for you like for free just because you drove up so like the aggression here was really good and as you can see look he jumps pretty much at the same yeah. time you jumped so if you don't jump he's probably going to jump anyway and then yeah. if you turn you've got the ball for free yeah in twos like see when some like see when the first man commits Sometimes there's no play for the second man to make, and you just have to deal with like a really shitty defense situation, you know? Like, there's nothing mm -hmm. you can do about it. So. Yeah, yeah, that's my bad. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's fine for the first man to commit. Uh, yeah, it happens. It happens, you know, it's gonna happen quite a lot. So, so... Sometimes, sometimes it'll be Hikari, sometimes it'll be Bruh, you know, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Sorry, were you gonna say something, Hikari? up there. Yeah, I think I'm way too far up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me go back. I was, I was talking. I went from my corner left boost to their corner boost after this hit. Like, I should have, yeah. as soon as I hit that, I need, just need to turn around. I don't need to go for that non existent boost. Yeah. We kind of screw up the touch. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, we could just turn here. I mean, you could maybe even, like, go here in the hope that it spawns. I'm not really against this play, but as soon as you, you do this, like if you want to try and get this boost on spawn, or hope that it spawns, you have to immediately go straight back, you know? Yeah. Like we can't get drawn in towards the ball a little bit and then go back. It's yeah. wasting too much time. Like a, yeah, I don't think you'll make it back regardless. Yeah, unfortunate kickoff. 
Yeah, that's gonna be a goal. That is pretty unlucky. <laughs> Thinking what Bruz coach you know it's gonna be. Kick off, kick off, kick off. <laughs> <laughs> nice bump, yeah, that was really good. Just check. Yeah, that was nice. He didn't go anywhere though, which, which kinda sucked, but. <laughs> yeah, he just kinda tapped him on the rear end there. Nice, good control. You guys are double committing again in defense. Yeah, that's this one is my fault. I think you're fine. This is fine to do this because he does. He does get like really good control on it. Yeah. I think I do a just... better job of calming. Yeah, just yeah, call you off that ball. I, I think both of you have a good ball here. Uh, Bra mm. has less boost, so the carry has the better ball. Mm. But uh, yeah, just a little bit better bombs. Nice. We've got a little pass on the right. Okay, we've got a lot of open space in the right here. So I'd consider, just because you're low boost as well, like one of the best ways to transition from defense to offense is to look for like open space where your teammate is near. Mm -hmm. This is something that's really important in defense. There, right? yeah. yeah. So like in defense, this applies a lot. So let's say you're defending the backboard, right? And the ball's coming in like from the ceiling. Okay, and you, you catch the ball here. If your teammate's playing here, you're going to pass the ball over here, right? To start transitioning mm -hmm. into attack. Your teammates over here you gotta find a way to get the ball over here you know and that's yeah. because you want to give possession via distance to your teammate over the enemies mm -hmm. so it's kind of the same here like if you if you play this ball towards mid and on the left side you're putting yourself in a 1v1 with this guy right yeah. whereas if you play over here suddenly you're putting yourselves in like a 2v1 against this guy you know yeah so you're just giving, like, you could be that guy that goes ahead and you could go demo this guy if you pass the barrel, you know? Mm. Yeah, so you're kind of making the attack a lot more difficult for your opponent. And you, you actually pass the ball, which is, which is pretty bad. <laughs> we kind of yeah, give it away for free. I instantly give it away, yeah. Yeah. I, I see him and I panic. And I just, I don't have a panic, I just kind of just, just jump and hit him. I don't take my time. Yeah. It's just because you're a little even, bit, even if he... Even if he instantly taunted that, I could probably just 50 to the right side for Bra. It would have been fine. Yeah, definitely, yeah. I think because you're low boost, like when you take this heavy touch here, I think you feel like you're not going to get underneath the ball in time, so you just hit it, right? Mm -hmm. That's probably kind of unconsciously why you hit it. But yeah, just like always look for the open space when you're after you've been attacked and you're trying to get out of defense. Because there's normally open yeah. space on one side, and uh, a lot of the time it can be hard to see. And the way you see it is by sometimes seeing which way the second man is facing on your opponents. Like if second man is facing like here, like this direction, you're always going to want to play over here, right? Because then he needs to turn. So, you know, in this in this situation, it's a lot more obvious with open spaces. But sometimes it may be a bit more difficult to see. That's going to be another goal. Yeah, I mean, I think the goal was scored there. Yeah, I think it was. I probably didn't have to dive at that myself, but... Yeah, I mean, we can look at that as well afterwards. It's one of these things, like, the goal was scored, you know, 10 seconds before it was actually scored, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, speaking of diving, that's what my three statements we went over about last night, and... One of the things I was really doing a lot was just diving at every ball in threes. Yeah, threes can kind of encourage that ping pong play style, right? Like, yeah. You kind of dive at stuff a lot. Ah, nice try. This is a good play. You have to get a goal from it, that's awesome. Nice. That uh, yeah, a that play. was a really bad first touch, though. <laughs> Sorry, you recovered it. Like, it's good. <laughs> yeah, it worked. <laughs> yeah, right, right, look, go back, kick it, go back quickly. Let's go. This is what I keep doing on the. Uh, New controller. No, go for the kickoff, for the kickoff. For the kickoff? Yeah, this is what I keep doing on the new controller. It keeps, like, I keep trying to flip, it doesn't flip instantly, so I get this weird delayed oh, flip. jump high. Yeah. Yeah. I think Rota's peaks here. Okay, I, I try and stay away from these plays as much as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you want to go for them, you know, it's up to you guys, but most it seems of the like time, a really high risk, high, high reward risk. type. 
yeah. yeah high risk low, low chance of getting a good reward from it so mm -hmm. you know it depends how confident you are as a duel like if you play against a like a pro duel they'll, they'll go for this shit all the time you know and that's just because they're really comfortable with each other they're really high like mechanical skill they can you know almost guarantee that they're gonna get some kind of play out of it and uh I, I just find them risky like in solo queue i'd never go for this ever so it's kind of up to you guys how confident you're feeling It can work, and I can get some pretty sick goals. <clears throat> but it depends on your dual synergy. Yeah. I think mean, for you, Akari, I think so far, like a, one of the big things is definitely going to be. Well, two big, two big things so far has been the, uh, I want to say, I don't want to say like your second round positioning, because I think your positioning is really good for the most part. I feel like a couple of times you've, you know, when you went for that corner boost and when you pushed up like pretty far and then you committed on the goal line when that guy had possession earlier on, kind of like a little bit too aggressive second man. Like your, your positioning is aggressive and that's good. But the committing afterwards is kind of costing you a lot. You know, like you commit on the boost, like on the hope that the boost spawns, and you commit on a ball because you're you don't want to be stuck in a a two v one defending scenario. Mm. And then here, this is like the second issue I've seen so far, and it's your, your transition from defense to offense. Like we need to work on making that a bit more controlled, because you know you've passed away like three times now. Yeah, we're just kind of giving away possession when. Like this is a screwed up attack. Like he's completely, completely fucked Wait, himself. Can you right? go back with your game? Yeah. So no, no, go back to when I'm going for the save. When I before I even get to the wall, like the in nets. Like here works honestly. Yeah. yeah it should be here. So that's how I got on the ceiling. Okay. I don't even think I needed to go on the ceiling of the goal there. I, I think that's fine. Like it's, you're you're kind of covering both angles here. I think you're both in good positions here, and I like that you go for the squishy. But as soon as he screws this up, you need to stop the squishy and go down for like a, like a controlled ground to air dribble. Yeah, you need to go for like a ground to air dribble touch here. So like just land on the floor and then touch it as it bounces here, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then take like a goal line on it if you can. Okay. I mean, you don't have too much boost, so you may just need to like touch it and then follow it on the ground. Yeah. And try and like 50 the second man. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But we really want to try and stay away from these. We're still drawn. Yeah. yeah, like these big boom clears. Then I don't even keep pressure on that. I make a make we have to go for a weird thing. Yeah. It can just sometimes like it can be hard to get a good attack going, and you'll find yourself stuck in defense, like for a good thirty seconds. Mm -hmm. Like th these attacks that you've gotten afterwards have been really poor. You know, like there's no. Yeah. There's no threat from these attacks whatsoever. This isn't threatening. And Brockham is here. This isn't threatening. We're playing onto the corner 1v2, you know? Mm. Like this isn't too threatening. Whereas if we go back to just very quickly. This. This is like a very threatening attack. If you take the ball and you actually take control, you take it here. Like this is this would be the best yeah. attack you'd get in I I could just, I could so. basically one view I could basically just one view on that guy because this guy is so far up and it's like exactly. extremely far back. I have so much space. Yeah, and then Brock can come up and, and try and clean up. Yeah, really nice pass. Bro just did the same thing. <laughs> 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 so maybe yeah, maybe a, a double problem here. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Okay, good positioning. Yep. Kinda getting banged on the on the wall there. I think I was getting bumped into him too. Yeah, I think that was just unfortunate. Uh, I, I, I don't think I should I think I should leave that ball because there's already two, two people in the corner, don't be three. Uh, that's it. A you know, it's, it's kind of half and half. It's good either way, you know? Like, you can play more defensive mm -hmm. here. I don't think there's any wrong decision. But I think the way you went for it, 
was wrong, right? So if you're gonna Would go, would you rather this, be swing out more to go for it, or it's, I'm gonna bring it back to to what we talked about before. You kind of wanna, you've got enough space, right, to take mm. it up. So you're kind of going for this, you know, this guy's pressuring. Oh shit! I need to boom the ball. I need to buy time for bra. And you're just yeah. kind of pinching it on the wall, and again, just giving possession away to your opponent. Mm. And I think I can feel the pressure a little bit more in this situation, so it's a little bit more understandable that you boom the ball and like pinch it on the wall. But I'm not really gonna like have a go at you for it. My plan was kind of to hit to get a jump where I could hit the ball up and land on the wall quicker. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, really could have just taken my time. If that's you, what you're I don't trying know to do, why, then. But... That's perfect. Yeah, I mean, if that's what you're trying to do, that's really good, you know. So, no, that's all good. I don't need to worry about it. I think I should have settled that ball instead of flipping. I think that's okay because you took a small flip on it. But it's okay because mm -hmm. see how you can recover and then stay on it. Like, yeah. if you're going to touch the ball, this is the perfect way to do it. You can follow on it, get a good pass. Nice try on the flip reset, steal the boost. Yeah. That's very close. Nice. Really good aggression. Unlucky. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Massive unlock. Really nice try on the double. Good recovery. Good boost. We look for a demo on this guy. Yep. Unlucky. <laughs> very unlucky. <laughs> Fortunate. Yeah, there it is again. Realm of slots this. He gets close. That would have been sick, yeah. I think I should have left that boost, honestly. Yeah, I think you can maybe leave this boost for bro. I could, I could just play second man here, just let him just ego challenge this right here. After yeah, the boost. you just play pads, let Bruh take the boost yeah. and let, let Bruh turn here, and mm -hmm. uh, you just go back. This way you're keeping a bit more of a, of like a was, forward like, defense, you know, like you're defending yeah. from here instead of having to go back and defending from here. Yeah. So you're kind of giving them a lot of space for free when you steal that boost from your teammate. Nice, really good dribble. Nice try on the follow. Good clear. I think you need to stay on the ball there. Yeah. I was thinking I was thinking that too. Yeah, you need to I don't know why I didn't do it in the game. Yeah, you need some pressure on this guy. Oh, it's the last three seconds actually. It's probably not worth talking about. Could have been just No, I was I was what uh, like right now just watching replay, I'm like I'm like, oh I, I then I follow here and then I didn't follow. I'm like what? Yeah, yeah. I definitely should have followed that ball. Yeah, it's the last three seconds, maybe you just weren't like not full focus, you know. Yeah. The game's already over. But yeah, I mean that was pretty interesting. Like uh definitely definitely the transitioning and uh, a little bit of good aggressive shadowing turned into terrible commits, you know. Yeah. So I'd really be careful when you're pushing up. It's good that you're pushing up though, because you weren't doing that so much before. You were playing pretty passive. So it's good that you're you're pushing up and getting aggressive.